Hey guys, so I just wanted to make an update video about what's been going on. I know it's been like two or three weeks, but been doing a lot of stuff. So um, oh, don't ignore the headphones too. I don't have a microphone, so I gotta use my Turtle Beach microphone. So last time I said that um, I had I had the war on the bottom of my bottom of my foot, and um, my recruiter she didn't know if I could go. To maps with it, so I went and talked to her. She called her her um, flight commander, and he said that one of the recruiters had sent another person through maps a week prior, and um, he had, he had been sent through all his physicals and stuff, and he'd passed. So she um she just she sent down uh, my papers to maps, and uh, they okayed me to go down, and I went and I passed all my physicals and stuff. When I uh, took the ASVAB, I got an 84, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so, um, on a Monday, I went to my recruiter's office about 11 a.m., 11 in the morning, and, um, you know, we went over a couple things, you know, like what to say and what not to say at MEPS, uh, a couple more paperwork. She gave me all the, the big folder papers that I had to take, and, um, yeah, and then I got a, a shuttle bus down to, uh, it's just north of Detroit. It was like an hour and a half, about an hour, hour and a half from where I live. And, um, yeah, the first night was a Monday, and I went, go in the building, and I got a giant metal detector, and you have to put your bag through screen, and it's just like the airport, kind of, just, you don't have to take your belt off, your shoes off, anything like that, just empty out your pockets and everything, and, uh, so yeah, I went in, I had to check in, uh, I took the ASFAB, and then, that was kind of weird, the guy was uh, really cool, he was a really cool guy, you know, everybody online says that, uh, like, MEPS people are, like, total dicks, and they're gonna yell at you, and they're gonna scream at you, I literally had, like, nobody yell at me the whole time, and everybody was all, they were all chill, they're all like, yeah, that's cool, you're going there, and, uh, military and stuff, and, like, they're pretty much all military, so they're like, we know what you're going through, you know, so, they've been in our shoes, but anyway, so, yeah, I took the ASVAB, and, um, you know, I was leaving, he handed me the, the envelope with my scores, and he said not to wait until, or, he, he said to wait until either got in the hotel room, or if my recruiter saw it, so I just went in the bathroom after that and opened it and looked at it, and then, uh, I texted my recruiter, and, you know, my family and told them I got I got an 84 for the Air Force. I got like 78 in uh, mechanical because I freaking suck at mechanics. I got an 87 in administration, like an 81 in general, and like an 83 in um uh, 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 electrical. Did I always say that? Nothing. Oh yeah, electrical. 83 in electrical. So yep, yeah, and then um. Uh, I went back to the hotel room, government pays for your hotel room and everything, so that's good, and um, I qualified for every single job for the Air Force, except for one, it was like technical specialist for something, you need like an 88 in the, for your ASVAB, so that kind of sucked, but you know, it's good to say that I got like hundreds of my jobs unlocked, but uh, yep, um, the hotel was fun, you know, there's, there's a bunch of cool guys that I met, um, they're all, like, seniors in high school, or, like, been out of high school for a year, too, so, they're just about my age, I've been on, out of high school for a year, and, um, yeah, we, uh, we had, like, a room, like, a meeting room, and I had, like, Xbox, I had a Wii, um, you know, DVD player, they had, like, pop and everything, I don't drink pop, I drink water, so they had, like, water bottles and everything, bags of chips, you can just get for free, so you don't have to, pay, you know, two dollars at hotel to buy it, so, uh, yep, yeah, they had, they had an amazing dinner, like, I don't know if it was just a hotel room, or if, like, all MEPS hotels kind of do that, but, um, uh, it was grilled chicken, like, homemade grilled chicken, and then, um, mashed potatoes, gravy, they had, like, steamed vegetables, like, little, little cups of jello, you know, and, uh, this fancy bread shit, it was, it was crazy, it was amazing good, and they had that from 6 to 10 p.m., so they had to keep that fresh all night, so, kudos to you, whatever, motel, I say that, I forgot what it was, Marriott, something like that, 
don't know. And, um, yeah, so I went to bed at, like, 12. I didn't get up at 4.30. Wake-up call was at 4.30. Breakfast was, like, 5, 5 to 5.30, and then the shuttle got there to take us to MEPS. So, um, yeah, going to MEPS in the morning, it was nerve-wracking because I was the whole time, the whole last week, I've been thinking about my war, you know, if I was going to pass or anything. But I know it was pretty much a breeze. You go in, you wait a little bit, you go um, give your papers to your liaison, like I did my Air Force liaison. And then, um, you know, you, you're putting two lines, one's for deppers and one's for shippers, for um, who's ever shipping out to basic that day, you know. There's a lot of Air Force people. I know um, that MEPS only ships out Air Force on Tuesday, so most of the people was Tuesday. Because it goes, Marines on Monday, all four of the branches, all four or five of the branches on uh, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday is just Navy. For some reason, I don't know if Navy has a lot of people going through that MEPS or what. But, um... Yeah, that's how, how, that's how uh, Detroit Maps did it. So, yeah, you go in, you had to check in, they give you your um, your physical packet, it's got like a bunch of blank papers, how um, everybody fills it out after you complete each station. So you go in, and you put in this giant waiting room. I was one of the first people, so uh, I was taken straight to audio, or, um, to visual testing. So I went and, um, like I was like, okay, read read uh, the numbers that you see so we had like it was a color vision test make sure I'm not colorblind but I'm not so it's good and um it was like red and green little pictures and you had to see the numbers it was like 17 5 42 you know one of the easiest tests I've ever taken and then um you did the depth perception test that was kind of it was kind of hard my recruiter told me a little tip it was um there's gonna be five circles and you have to figure out what one's closest or farther away from you and it's never going to be the the one on the very left or the one on the very right. The very left and very right for you. But um, because there's nothing on either side of that to kind of like compare it to. So it's either going to be, they number it 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. It's either going to be 2, 3, or 4. So remember that when you're doing your depth perception. It's easy anyway. So on top. Ow. Okay. Um, yeah, and then a couple more tests for that. And then they had the medical briefing for everybody, and there was like, you know, everything that, they went over all your medical questions that you went through with your recruiter. They just want to make sure that you're going to, like, not leave anything out if you're going to put anything more in. Um, and that was gay. So, after that, I took my hearing test. Uh, that went all good. Those earphones were uncomfortable as shit. And, uh, I guess I did, like, horrible I'm hearing, I don't know, and then, um, yeah, and the whole, and, um, the whole time you're at MEPS, like, on, uh, the second day, you constantly have to have a glass of water filled up and drinking it, so you're, like, guaranteed to pee, and, uh, I'll get to that in a second, because I have a story, anyways, um, yeah, so you go, and uh, I took my physical after that, I had to go, have an interview with a doctor, and he was like, oh, you got a wart on your foot, I'm like, yeah, and he's like, oh, people come through all the time with that, and he just wrote it off, like it was nothing, so I was like, fucking right, freaking right, kids, don't say that, um, yeah, and, uh, and you had to go, and, um, my, uh, there was a Navy uh, medical advisor at my station, so he was like, okay, strip down your britches, and then I have to weigh you and take your height. So it's kind of awkward getting my underwear in front of, but I'm f- in front of a bunch of guys. But uh, it had to be done. Everybody everybody does it. So I was just like, whatever. And then, um, yeah, it was it was just me and another guy standing back to back in our underwear waiting for the um, one-on-one physical with the doctor. And then all these people just start piling in and taking the clothes off. And then, then it got kind of awkward. So, yeah, I went in. I had the, the one-on-one physical with a doctor, you know, and, uh, you, you do just, like, little movements and stuff, like, grab your ankle, put it behind you, he checks the bottom of your feet, like, he looked at my foot, you didn't even say anything, so, all that time stressing, I'd lost, like, three pounds, like, for stressing the whole time, because I would eat, but somehow I'd lost three pounds from my recruiter's office to, you know, taking the physical, so, that was weird, but, um, yeah, he, he didn't write down that I had 
that I had a, a wart on my foot, but he wrote down, I have, I have acne on my back, like a little bit, like a couple patches. He wrote that down for some reason. Like, that's a dick move, but I don't know. I've had it for years, you know. I've never done anything about it, but never thought it was a problem. So, yeah, and then, um, uh, yeah, from there you go. You're, after that, you're with a couple other guys, like I was with three other guys lined up in a row. And uh, the Navy advisor, he was um, doing pretty much the same movements. We, like, we had to do a duck walk. And, um, you know, you had to sit on your knees. And then you had to um, kind of shift backwards. And you have to rotate up on your feet. But you can't, like, put your hands on the ground. And you can't, like, move your body to do it. You just have to go kind of, like, backwards motion up. And uh, that was kind of hard. My, my right knee is kind of a little janky, so that was tough. But, um... Yeah, and you're all in your boxers, so that just makes it straight homo. And then, um, yeah, so, you know, I put my clothes back on. He gave me all ones for my physical, so that's good. So I don't have any, like, restrictions for my physicals and everything. This is a fucking long video. Freaking long video. Kids. Hi, buddy. It's my cat. Anyways, um, yeah, after that, I had, a, I had to go take a piss. At least I thought I had to take a piss, and this is the story I was going to get to thought I had to take a piss and I go and you're with four of the guys urinal to urinal to urinal to urinal and y'all whip out your dicks and you start pissing well everybody else I can freaking hear them going and I start going a little bit and you have this cup it's probably like probably about that big you have to fill it up all the way to the top and I fill it up halfway and I just stop and I don't know what the hell happened but I just stopped pissing and I kind of, and I'm like, dude, is this enough? And he's like, hell no, Mr. Gregory, you can't do that shit. So I had to, um, you know, dump out my cup. I had to do whatever. And then, uh, he handed me like a no flow packet. That was kind of embarrassing. But, um, you know, there was a couple no flow people. So whatever happens. So I go and, um, I got my blood drawn. It's just, the lady that I had, she was, um, she used to be in the Navy, too. There was a lot of Navy people there for some reason. I don't know why. But she was in the Navy. She just looks at me, asks me a couple questions. Before I know it, she's pulling the needle out of my arm after I'd already given, like, the little bit of blood. Like, I didn't even f pretty much feel anything. It was the craziest thing ever. She was really good at it. And she's like, yeah, I've been doing this since 1982. I was like, holy shit. She's been drawing, doing, she's been working at, at that map station since 1982. Kudos to you. It's freaking hard. Not be able to work someplace for 30 years. But anyways, yeah. Um, I still see the little mark on my arm. Yeah, it, it'll it'll bruise up a little bit around it because they do it so fast and um, you know they don't really have time to get in there good and you know take their take their time and everything. So it'll bruise. Just get over it. And you you're gonna want to um get your blood drawn. Or that's gonna want to be one of the last things you do because it's gonna limit your mobility on your arms and when you're taking your physicals you're gonna be doing a lot of physical like arm shit and stuff and uh it's gonna it's gonna enter your arm so um yeah make sure the blood test is one of your last things and then um yeah about that time I just sit, I, I sat down and I drank ten little like solo red red cups of um of water. And I had to piss like a mofo. So I ended up going and I ended up pissing. And I uh, got the whole thing filled up. They test they tested there for like um, high sugar and high protein, I think, for it. I used to take protein shakes until like a couple weeks ago. So I was kind of afraid that maybe I was going to fail something. But no. So it was good. Yeah, and then... Um, yeah, I'm going to make another video. This is really long. So um, click on part two.